Mm, so far what we covered in our uh, previous sessions is you know ADS1 types of ADS was completely we covered okay and then we covered transformation part now we are going to creation of composite provider uh, and union using union and join operators in composite provider so this concept we are going to cover in today's session okay so let's see how it goes now I'm going to my rough, rough book so let's take something here okay now we are going to learn about composite provider so what is this composite provider so this composite provider in bw4 hana or on bw on hana 7.5 systems which is on hana database so it is a replacement for the older objects this composite provider is a replacement for the older uh, providers which is multi provider and infoset in old versions we have these two providers infoset and multi multi provider these two are viewed in mean, virtual providers which, which means it doesn't store any data it is kind of a view which fetches data at runtime from the underlying providers okay so in on initial classes when we are discussing about bw providers i told you it with two kinds one is uh, you know um, virtual and uh, uh, you know one is kind of uh, which stores data I forgot that word I'm not getting that word which stores data okay so the provider which stores data in it with nothing but our ADS for concept okay all our ADS force are stores data in it okay uh, but this my this composite provider doesn't store any data in it it is kind of view okay uh, in this composite when if we want if you want to create a composite provider we are going to keep under you know ads force under it it means based upon the diff multiple pro multiple providers we create composite provider so we will go into this topic in detail uh, maybe a little bit confusing at this point of time but uh, first uh, to just to recap one more time this uh, composite provider is a replacement to the older info uh, providers of multi provider info set so this is a virtual provider so virtual provider means the provider which doesn't store any data in it but extracts the data from the underlying base you know providers which stores data in it okay ads for stores data in it which is nothing but a database object where it table diff, table kind of object this composite provider is a view kind of object okay at runtime it fetches data from the underlying provider so okay i'm stopping at this point and next this composite provider supports two kind of functionalities so what are those functionalities union functionality and join functionality so these two it will support uh, in older pro older uh, providers multi provider supports union and infoset provides you know um, works with the join operator okay as i said this composite provider is a combination of this multiple info set that's why it supports both union and join functionalities okay now we we, we uh, you know as we are uh, you know new to this bw we must know what is a union means what is join means okay now let's spare some time to understand what is union means what is join and then i will go with technically in the system how to create this composite provider okay so what is union what is join so let me go to another sheet here so now let's discuss about union first okay for example i have a data set okay like a, just like a, you know um, older times document number item date material quantity unit currency amount currency so this is my data set okay so let's take one and two records here thousand one with item 10 20 20 01 material m1 quantity you know um, 10 st pieces 100 dollars so now in this particular record i am adding one more you know column here here what i am going to add one more column is nothing but country okay so let's say for example this is usa it means this particular record was generated in us country okay and now i have another transactional data means uh, i have this is the transaction happened on us now i i have another transaction which is happened on india 
now what will happen here the document number will change because it won't repeat at any cost so same date same you know but country is in india okay and some material but in india when transaction happens it happens under currency inr okay now this is the transactional data which is there in r3 system this is also a transaction data which is happening on the r3 system so when i fetch this data into bw you know what we can do is either we can fetch this information into one provider or if uh, you know we can store it in two different providers all the us data i can store it on one adso and all the india country data i can store it in another adso so what is the benefit of uh, storing in two tables and what is the benefit of storing in single table it is possible to store the data in single table but you know if you store the information of multiple countries in multiple tables then it provides you leverage of performance okay whenever if your report is working on india country then it no need to go into this ads for to read all data for example you have 1 million records total and then usa may occupy 70000 records and uh, no okay, seven uh, you know for example let's take you know 1000 records if your database and let's take you know 700 records are from us and 300 records from india so if you want to search you know one particular record you know on entire data set system has to read whole thousand records and needs to fetch that information from the table whereas if you divide the data into two tables and if you know the record is coming from india then directly you can go and search in this table itself it means you need to search now on only 300 entries which gives more performance okay instead of searching in 1000 records if we search in 300 records definitely the output will come little bit faster compared to uh, you know a whole 1000 record search <coughs> so having data separated in two different tables will little bit increase the performance and based upon our design scenario sometimes what we do we do, we load data into multiple providers which is having same kind of structure this ads walls have having the same structure and the below ads walls are having same structure but data is in two different ads walls okay that's what now when you are doing reporting you cannot create one report on this dso and one report on this dso definitely what you need to do you need to combine these two data sets and build the report but when you sending some selection you make sure it will hit the right object okay that will we will discuss later point but if there are two data sets with same structure and if you want to combine the data the one which we use is union property so in the union property the document number from here and here will be combined and creates one new one column and here item here item will combine and creates another column like this you know i will create it will union will create one structure which unions this information this information so the output of union will be two records this one and this one so when you do union there is no filtering of records happens it means how many records you have that means the summation of records from two ads was will be the output of your union for example in this ads where you have 20 records and in this ads where you have 10 records then the output of union is 30 records there is no uh, you know further uh, filtering and all like this so this is called union uh, so when we go for union if you want to merge two data sets merge means combine two data sets with same structure then we go for union so now let's learn about join so join is little bit uh, more theoretical uh, you know it i have to explain more when compared to union union is simple joining of two structures with uh, you know two tables with same structure but when comes to join you can join different tables with different structures but when you are joining you must have one join property okay join condition not property join condition so examples for this is let's take the same example of uh, this particular data now let's have you have this data like this in your in your database in your bw there is an ads for which is having data in this way now when you do reporting 
on this uh, a data you want to bring material group also there is a master data for material let's say there is a master data or else what we can do uh, this is the document number means let's take this as a um, sales order this is let's say let's say this is a sales information so for each sales information there will be corresponding delivery information okay it means now i am going to generate one delivery data okay so delivery data will be created on top of my sales data so the i need delivery number delivery number delivery item and then date country material quantity amount currency all are same but apart from these two there will be one more that is important here so do, 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 do. let me go take this one to here here because this delivery is creating on top of my sales information i must have a reference here what is that reference document number reference item so these are nothing but your sales document number and sales document item it means if my delivery number is for example 5001 with the item 10 which may happen on for example next day of that month january 2nd and the remaining let's say you know this is the information and now what is my reference document number here this particular document was created based upon this particular document so my reference document number and item are 1010 okay similarly I can take uh, you know this record also into my output but now what I can do so when the second order second order was uh, delivered the ordered quantity was 10 maybe here they may delivered instead of 10 they may delivered 5 because of stock issue or because of you know something other reason there is a chance of you know having delivered quantity less than are equal to the order quantity okay so now in this case this particular record was created with reference to my second order okay and the order number for this one is 5002 and 10 and it is also happened on second day of jan so later after you know after one week of delivery the new stock came for the consumer for the retailer and he delivered the left of the amount of quantity so 5003 2022 20, 01 for example 8 something like that he delivered the remaining half quantity here also what happens the delivery quantity here also the reference document number and item both are same but what happens here the problem here is um, you may not get data in two different line items here little bit confusing for you uh, then let's don't take this one let's don't take this one okay let's take it like this only as of now now you have sales order data in one ads4 this is sales ads4 and you have delivery data in another ads4 so there is a real-time requirement to identify the open orders it means so out of your sales orders how many you delivered and what is the open means how much quantity you still need to deliver open quantity okay how you are going to achieve this open quantity by doing this join between these two okay so in real time also you may have a requirement either to join two uh, transactional providers in this way or for example you have a material master data you have a material master data in your material master data for example this is m1 is your material and uh, you know, material master data let's take uh, material and then material type material group okay let's take these three not more not more um, so for em1 material you need m1 is your material and material type is for example ntyn and material group is mg1 okay and, and there is a record m2 with uh, a material group mty1 
and mg2 this is metal cam group under function two. so this is your metal mass data so if you want to you know uh, this record in this record if you want to see something material type and material group next to your columns these are already there are some columns are there 11 columns next to 11th column on 12th column if you want to see material type and 12th, 13th column if you want to see material group then you can achieve by doing the join condition between these two so joins are used to join the tra two tra different transactional data or to join between the transactional data and the mass data so in either case you there is a chance of using join in the real time okay so union works with the same structure but the joins works with different structures it will work with the same structure also but join always use it to uh, combine two different data sets based on some condition so when i am bringing this uh, you know material type and material group into my transactional data how can i bring this information here by joining with my material from my you know this delivery data with the material from the master data okay so by joining with this uh, material information by joining with this material information i am going to bring here that's what i said we need some join condition when we are performing join similarly if you want to join this sales data with the delivery data you need some join condition here the join condition is nothing but document number and item from the sales data equal to reference document number and item in the delivery data you must have a proper join condition if the under the join condition must always returns unique record okay so why okay now i will come to the other point so when i am going to tell this example what i said i try to create one more entry here with a different document number but later i deleted because if there is one more record here with the same you know with the same uh, reference document number and item then you see when i am trying to join 1110 with 1110 there is only one combination between here and there but when i try to compare 1002 with 1210 there are two records in this table when compared to one record in the uh, source table so it's not correct you must always select do the select state join condition which always returns a unique record when you do the uh, join okay if it is not unique then there will be some complications which you need to handle okay that we discuss in later point so this is something you know why we you why we need join condition now i need to explain you something so join regularly we use four kind of joins one is uh, let's uh, talk about three only inner join left outer join right outer join and full outer join so these are the four different kind of joins we use regularly there are some other kind types of joins also but we don't use the most but these are the four important join joins that we must definitely know about it okay so now we go in depth of what is inner join what is left outer join how you know what is right outer join and what is full outer join so let's start with inner join okay so now let's start with inner join so to understand this inner join so uh, to understand this inner join i am going to take an example which is little bit easier to understand i am not going for complex examples here okay so i have a delivery data in this way and i have a material data here like this okay i have a material data like this so now i am going to perform the join between my delivery data and the material master data so when we try to perform a join we need to get, understand what is my join condition so here the common field between this delivery data and my material master data is nothing but here material is a common column between here uh, material, delivery data and the master data so now i am going to use this particular uh, column as a join condition between these two okay so now my what is my requirement my requirement is here so if you are performing join between the two tables then you have a requirement to get some data from second tables into first table 
so that I mean either you want to see a combination between these two um, combined data from table one and table two that is your requirement so now your your requirement here is apart from the delivery data what you are getting from this adso you wish to populate some extra columns called material type and group in your data set so that is your requirement your requirement is apart from the data which is coming from your delivery data you want some extra columns to be derived from your material master data so in this case you go for join condition and in the join condition you are going to provide material to material okay so why here material to material um, yeah material is a join condition so is this uh, gives the correct output or not now we are going to see and now here we are use, we are talking about inner join so now i am performing a inner join between these two tables then let's see what is my output inner join brings the data brings data for the common field common values between both tables okay inner join will fetch only the data which matches between both tables inner join will fetch data from both tables uh, which matches the join condition it means the join condition here is material okay and i need to consider one table as a primary key here, primary table here so when for inner join any table you can consider as primary table but uh, to explain i am considering my delivery data table as a primary table here so when it comes to delivery data table i am taking you know i already defined my target structure so let's take first record from the delivery table on this first record the material here is m1 now for with this m1 is there any record available in my master data yes there is a record available in with m1 in my master data so now bring all data from this record into your target and for this m1 whichever record is matching here from this record bring the material type and material group one nothing but these two records paste it here okay like this it will work so how it will work for the matching record it will fetch the corresponding data from the second tables inner join because it is an interview question in, in the, they will ask about do you know joins or not so you must have knowledge to explain what is join is inner join will bring data from both tables for the matching condition so that's what you need to say the the key must match from both tables um, now comes to the second record so second record also in the second record also there is m1 and on my second table yeah there is a matching condition for m1 so it fetches data from these two tables and it keeps here now i am going to generate one extra record here to for a false condition so 1003 2022 0102 and you know for let's take it is a record from usa and material is m5 okay and 50 um you know 50 pieces and here the cost is uh, you know 50 usd dollars okay let's say reference number 1510 okay let's take let's come uh, you know take it like this way now so for the third record to process because when join is happening each record in the table will go on through this join criteria so now third table now third record is going for the join criteria from the third record what is my material my material is m5 now now it is system is going to check with m5 is there any record available in my second table I, there is no record available in the second table with m5 material then it will discard this material um, this record and it won't come in come to your output okay remember so this is the important point here so inner join will bring data for the matching records only so m1 to m2 m1 is a match m1 to m1 is a match but for m5 there is no m5 in the second table so system won't bring any data into your target so now the output of this in is only two records so this is how inner join works now we are going to learn about left outer join left outer join so what is left outer join so left outer join means it is a combination of left outer join is a combination of inner join plus leftover records leftover records from 
from left hand side because it is a left means left table which is your uh, left side that is your uh, no left table so as i said left table is nothing but our primary table right table is nothing but our secondary table okay right side table so now i am going to teach about left outer join okay left outer join is a combination of inner join plus left over left over records from the left hand side okay so i already know my output of inner join so i am keeping in this way copy and pasting here because these two records got generated from the left outer join for the first two records from the media from the uh, my sales data delivery data first two records came as this now system is going to process third record but when this is processing third record for inner join this record doesn't satisfy the criteria but for left outer join uh, as i said it is a combination of inner join plus left over fields inner join is this one and the left over records is nothing but this record so this record also comes to your output as part of left left outer join so what is left outer join i said left outer join is a combination of inner join plus left over records from the left side so after inner join then the left over record from my table is nothing but only 5003 so that that record i am going to bring into that record is going to come into my output but when this is coming then how this material type and group will fill here because material type and material group is coming from the secondary table of my material of my uh, what it is uh, master data but since there is no combination happening between m5 to material master there is it won't fetch any data okay instead of fetching data it marks it as a null that is important okay system will consider this as a null okay so just a second let me pause once so um, that is all what about left outer join so now next uh, join which we are go which we are going to discuss is right outer join similar to left outer join but small small differences okay now we are going to learn about right outer join so what is right outer join again this is also a combination of inner join plus left over records leftover records from right hand side okay so this is how you know uh, this uh, right outer join works so inner join means we know inner join is the output of first two records so let's take this uh, right outer join output uh, first two records from the inner join and what is the second point here leftover records from the right hand side now this time it is not going to fetch data from the left hand side left over so from the right hand side now what is my right hand side table here my right hand side table nothing but here is material master data so from material master data it will fetch all the information and it will give here so when this uh, you come to left outer join so what you understand you will see uh, material m2 here because of when it is right outer join which is nothing but on the right hand side you have material master data so material master the, which fields are related to material master data here here material is related to material master now this becomes m2 okay and the quantity and piece these are also coming from source amount also coming from source and reference document number okay so this is also comes from so one second source only hmm. so now Uh, reference item also same. Now for M two, what will be the material type and material uh, group? So for M two, the material type is M T Y one, and group is M G two. It means when you do right outer join, it won't fetch data for all the columns in your table. Only the columns which are matching with the right hand side will only get filled. Material is matching where material type and material group is matching. that's why it will fetch uh, you know this information in like this so what happened to other columns for this record all the other columns will be marked as null in this scenario okay so this is about right outer join now the final one which we are going to discuss is now full outer join full outer join
when coming to full outer join what exactly a full outer join uh, as explained you know earlier in the left outer join and right outer join so full outer join is a combination of uh, inner join left outer join and right outer join so it's a combination of uh, you know three uh, three things inner join left outer and right outer. it means something but left over records on the left hand side and the left over records on the right hand side okay so this is your uh, full outer join now what will be your output first you need to take your inner join output which is nothing but delivery number and uh, you know delivery uh, sorry mm, delivery whole information including this uh, matching condition now the left hand side leftover records from the left hand side is nothing but 5003 m5 and all so this is the leftover record from your left hand side and leftover records from the right hand side so right hand side the leftover records are nothing but m2 mt1 mt mg2 copy mm. so now what i'm going to do here just copy this one paste it here that's it so this is left out in left outer join output this is right outer join output okay which is combination of uh, full outer is a combination of inner join left outer and right out uh, right outer join okay so i hope it is clear for you so far so this is the theoretical information about you know how exactly a join and union works in the uh, real time okay now quickly we will we are going to look into you know uh, technical information of this how to create a composite provider how to how we define join and union here okay in bw we store data multiple stores we I mean, for example sales data we store in one ads4 and delivery data we store in one ads4 when you wish to combine these two using a join operator then you can do only via composite provider you cannot you know write your own sequels to generate reports and all okay so that's why learning composite provider is very important here so i am going to my hana studio under my you know info area srbw4 hana now i am going to create one composite provider right click new composite provider so what was my composite provider name g underscore g uh, I don't need to give G here. SR underscore uh, sales P sales P means composite provider here uh, P underscore sales. So this is my composite provider. Click on uh, next and click on finish. No need to define anything here. Just click on finish. You can give it a letter point. So when you come to this technical screen, you know, um, it is better to add this checkbox. This composite provider can be added to another composite provider okay so what is the advantage of adding this one by adding this one again you can utilize this composite provider in another composite provider so how you are going to utilize we will see in coming time okay so now i am on general tab on general tab i try to enable here this particular checkbox and i need to give some description of to my composite provider just same as like about my uh, info cube okay um, now sorry sorry Compos description I am giving same as like my composite provider technical name now I am going to scenario tab so here it is what you need to understand a bit more about it okay so when you try to create a composite provider by default you will get this kind of node which is union node you know with the symbol union symbol and then it is uh, this is Venn diagram it may be in our you know uh, lower studies and all we learned about this venn diagrams so, so this is like this okay now as i said uh, this composite provider is a virtual provider which fetches data at runtime from the underlying providers so that's why here i need to provide some uh, providers which stores data so are uh, any other provider okay so how to add a provider so first we need to learn about union and then we go for union ju uh, sorry we go for uh, join operators okay now i am going to my union uh, on my i'm clicking on my union node and clicking on this yellow button which is nothing but add button click on this add button so when you click on add button it will show you all the available objects in your system uh, so from here you need to select one ads4 so which uh, which one i am going to prefer now is uh, you know sales 3 
one minute says three or something else. Let me check. Yeah, one and three we are going to see now. So I am going to select uh, SJM Z um, SR underscore right. One second. So SR underscore CSA CSL. One minute. CL. SR underscore huh? AS. A L S one. Yeah. I am taking one provider. So when I take in okay. So now we are going to uh, create now we created one composite provider, right? Here I am going to add one union object here. Okay. So as I said, composite provider works with two functionalities. One is with join functionality, another one is the union functionality. If you uh, if you want to apply a union functionality on your composite provider, you always need to add objects in it. So to apply to to you know use union functionality here, we always add objects here by using this yellow button, which is nothing but add button. Addition of providers. Okay, addition of providers. <coughs> So I already added one provider here, which is nothing but as uh, you know, this is one of the ADS4. Okay. Now when I add one ADS4, it will it will show in this way if it is union kind. And you so on the right hand side there are two tabs. One is uh, so one is you know source tab, another one is target tab. Okay. Uh, one other one is target tab. So as of now you see on the target side there are no you know um, fields here. But on the source side, I can see some fields. From where exactly these uh, fields came? These fields came via from this, you know, uh, underlying ADS4. Okay. So if I click on this one, also I am getting same kind of output, you know, source uh, here also same. Now what I am going to do is I am going to add because union means nothing but one or one provider. Union is always we do addition of more more than one. I can say. Okay. It is possible to, to create union even with one ADS4, but uh, it's fine. Okay. If you, when we are going to add two, then how it is, how we are going to add, I'm going to show you. But as of now, after adding the first provider, what you can do, you can right click on your AD, you know, on the right hand side. This is your, uh, whichever ADS4 you added, right click on it, create assignments. When you click on create assignments, what happens? all the objects from your uh, provider will be from the left hand side will be added to the tar target it means on the left hand side means on your uh, this particular ads so s1 ads so if you have 100 fields and right clicking on it create assignments will move all the 100 fields information means uh, fields information into the target side okay so you see one to one mapping happening here but if you want to send only few then you can do that also how it how you either doing drag and drop or right clicking on the field and create assignments also can be done by happening one by one assignment okay now this is a single provider now i want to add two providers two ads first of same structure to get one single output now in order to add one more object into your union you need to click again on this uh, uh, yellow button now it comes like this now I am going to add my second provider. So I am going to add my S3 provider here. So SR underscore C S A L S 3. Now you see when it is union, it always give brings one after another. So this is the second one. Now if I click on my union node, top node, now I can see whatever on uh, are there on my design the same providers I can see on my source side. Okay. But as of now, if you click on any of the, your line item, it is currently having mapping from your only this provider. On the second, which we added just now, doesn't have any mappings. You see, there are no lines coming for this one. Okay. Now, in order to, you know, when we are talking with this example of union, so what I said here, a union is nothing but joining of two data sets 
of a similar structure. So do I have similar structure here and here? You see document number, document number, item to item, uh, created on, created on material. So I have similar structure. Now I am going to join these two data sets in is a union, these two data sets into single data set. It means the first column from the say, first provider and second and the first column from the second provider must be mapped to same column on the target. So now how you are going to do drag and drop here and put it here. What happened? One second. Somehow it is not coming. Mapping. Mm, this is a carton. This is also carton. So why I'm not getting this mapping? Edit. Um, edit. Targeting object. I click create assignments you see okay somehow the mapping is not proper happen properly but you see when I right click on it and uh, you know make it create assignments for example I'm going to second one right click create assignment so what is happening because with this technical name already there is a tech another info object available so system is checking if uh, both sides are same technical name then it will map to the same line for example, if there is any, if the technical names are not same here and on the right hand side, system will create a new column instead of, you know, same column. But what is union? Union means adding two data sets of similar structure and creating a unique structure out of it. Means a, a single uh, structure. So I need to map same columns. Either I can use drag and drop also, but somehow, you know, drag and drop not working here. I don't know why. Okay, somehow it is not working, eh? let it be. As of now, I am doing in this way. You see, if you are doing one by one, one by one, you need to do like this. But if you right click on your ADS for create assignments, it will create automatically. Uh, all the mappings will be done automatically. Okay, no need of one by one. Done. So now, from two data sets, you map it to single structure. Okay, now activate here. Now you are done with your uh, union, you know, com creation of composite provider using union functionality. Now what we are going to do, if you go to the output tab, on the output tab, you see whatever are there on your right hand side target, the same fields you can see here also on the output tab also. Okay, we have, we can do more in the output tab, which we discuss on later sessions. Okay, now I am clicking on the scenario button, uh, composite provider created. Now I want to do a data preview of this composite provider. So he, from here I can do data preview. Now he, from in the back end side also I can do data preview. As of now I will show you from here and tomorrow I will show you on the uh, HANA side. So I am going to RS7. I am going to my composite provider. You see under my composite provider I added two ADS first. Right click on the composite provider. Display data field selection for output, select all characteristics, execute, execute. So you need to know this navigation. Tomorrow I will um, explain more in detail about this one. Now when you see here, you see uh, one data came from one provider. Uh, there is a column called info provider. If I bring it to starting and do sorting here. Now I have data from two providers. This is from the first provider and this is from the second provider. Okay, both providers data got merged into single structure. Okay, this is called union functionality. Okay, I hope it is clear and tomorrow we are going to learn about join functionality and uh, tomorrow we are also going to learn how to combine this union and join together in a composite provider and how exactly, you know, we need to model in such cases. These points we are going to learn in tomorrow.